Tonight is the world premiere of the documentary Children of War. And whenever you hear those two words together, children and war, you know why it is so important to have an international body like the United Nations. Not only to take these issues seriously, but to solve them. And a film like we will see tonight is a very important first step. First, we inform ourselves, and then it is our responsibility to take action. Tonight's screening is part of the United Nations Zero Under 18 campaign, which seeks to end the recruitment and use of child soldiers. Zero Under 18 is calling on every country to sign and ratify the optional protocol to the Convention on the Rights of the Child on the involvement of children in armed conflict. Ten years after it was adopted, there are still 53 countries that are still not a party to the optional protocol. We need their support. Tonight's film, Dear Friends, is a reminder of the individuals whose lives are at stake. It is a reminder of why we must say with one voice that we will not tolerate the abuse, the ruined life chances of those who cannot defend themselves. We have to build peace to ensure this kind of war does not repeat itself in any part of the world. We are only using northern Uganda, uh, drawing examples from northern Uganda, to say this war affects children, affects communities, affects people in any part of the world equally. And this is what we are saying no to. At what point do does the world population get together and do something constructive? Well, I think that that's a perfect question to put to the Under Secretary General. Actually, this is one issue around which the United Nations has actually united. As you know, um, one thing we have uh, is first an annual report of the Secretary General to the Security Council, which actually lists by name parties that recruit and use children in armed conflict. We call it the list of shame. It comes out every year. Then we have um, a system which the Security Council doesn't do on any other issue. We've it's set up a monitoring and reporting mechanism in each of the conflict areas where there are child soldiers to gather information. We're now trying to push them to move towards sanctions against these, this list of shame. In terms of going forward, where and how do you see the impact of this film? The next thing we are seeing is the rehabilitation, the holistic kind of rehabilitation for the children. Each one of us, as an individual, as institu an institution, as a government, have a role to play in having these children rehabilitated. The film was perhaps, of all the films I've seen, the most moving portrayal of uh, the whole issue. Uh, as you know, I've seen many films being a special representative on children and outcome. It truly captured the agony, but what was wonderful about the film was that it also captured the joy of rebirth. So I think that was very beautiful.